Welcome back to Draft Genius. Today we're going to take a look at Penn State's Yatir Gross Meadows. Gross Meadows is one of the other top projected edge rushers not named Chase Young in this year's draft. I've heard and read missed reviews about this kid and after looking at the film it's clear to me why there are so many questions surrounding his game. He had a great season his last year, uh, was a four star pro prospect coming into Penn State so the talent is there, the athletic ability is there but there are still a few things that are missing and we're going to take a look at some of those things right now. At 6'5", 266 pounds, Gross Meadows finished his 2019 campaign with 40 tackles, 15 tackles for a loss, and 9.5 sacks to cap off his junior season. He definitely passes the eye test when it comes to what you'd expect a 4-3 defensive end to look like, and there's still room for him to fill out his frame after adding more strip. After watching Gross Meadows on film, it's clear he's a great athlete with raw talent, but when it comes to overall football technique and IQ, he still has a lot of learning to do in order to fit what's expected from a first round defensive end. Let's start off with some of the cons. While some reports have scouted him as having an explosive first step, which he does but doesn't display on every play. When I think of guys with explosive first steps, I think of the Jadavion Clownies, I think of uh, the, the Joey Bosa's, the Nick Bosa's, just thinking about some of those recent edge rushers who's came into the league and had an immediate impact. They come off the ball fast and violent every play, which Gross Meadows definitely has the ability to do, but he just doesn't do it every play. Sometimes it just seems like he's taking some plays off. He does have those plays where he does come off violent and explosive and usually it works out great for him. He usually either gets to the ball, hurries the quarterback, or uh, makes the play on the run. But there, like I said, there are other instances where he's just in no man's land, sometimes just playing patty cake with offensive linemen instead of actually rushing with a purpose. His tank when it comes to pass rushing is half full. He does not have a plethora of moves in his repertoire right now to get off blockers, but with such long arms and athletic ability, the sky is the limit once he gets into his bat. He's got the ability to turn his speed into power, but has yet reached his full potential once again to do so on a consistent basis. So if, if you caught on so far, the main thing about him right now, the biggest issue that I've seen watching this film, uh, watching the highlights and watching the, the entire game feel is just consistency because highlights only, only shows us the great plays. They don't show us those plays where you might have took off and you might have had the opportunity to make a play, but you didn't. When initiating contact with a lineman, sometimes he, he uh, mistimes his punch and lets the lineman get into his frame, which from there, if you do that in the NFL, if you let a lineman, a veteran lineman, uh, get into your chest, it's going to be over from there. You're not the, the odds of you getting to the quarterback or making a play are very slim to none. He does do a great job setting the edge on the run, but in this day and age, an edge rusher has to be able to rush the quarterback you can't just set the run that's that I mean first round defensive end you want a guy that can come in and do everything as of right now he's projected to be taken in the first round of this year's draft despite some major weaknesses that we just talked about but the reason behind uh, such a high projection that I think is is he's got a high ceiling when you look at guys uh, some guys come out of college and at the college once they come out of college that's their peak with him, he has not reached his peak. He needs uh, a good coach, uh, someone else. Not saying he, that he hasn't had good coaching, but once you get around in the NFL and you, the speed of the game changes at each level, I think it's going to uh, click to him what he needs to do to be one of those guys or to be the guy, um, which a lot of people are projecting him to be for their team in the first round. All of the things he doesn't excel at, like I said, can easily be corrected as his strength is as his strength improves, as he gets better uh, technique when it comes to pass rushing. I think if he's able to implement some spin moves, uh, uh, get a better bull rush in there, uh, the rip and swim, a lot of a lot of great um, opportunity for him to find different kind of ways to get to the quarterback and around these blockers. Because when you look at him, uh, we talked about the athleticism in in the beginning. He has great athleticism. He has some loose hips. Um, he does have a tendency to get high sometimes, but those are all things that can be uh, corrected. Now, in my opinion, if I was a GM, if I was a head coach, I wouldn't take him in the first round, only because I feel like there's a lot of uh, other guys in, in this year's draft class who could come in and have an immediate impact. I do think uh, Gross Matters is going to take a little time to de develop. It may be a year, it may be two years, but I do think that he has the ability to be a great defensive end. Um, 
in the NFL. When you look at him, he reminds you of a lot of uh, Carlos Dunlap when it comes to his frame. They're, they're kind of built pretty similar. Uh, he's not as uh, fast and athletic as some defensive ends, but once he gets stronger and once he understands um, rushing the quarterback with a purpose, I think this guy is going to be a problem. But right now, I don't see him being a first-round draft pick. And he can definitely uh, prove me wrong. Of course, he might come in and have an immediate impact, but I just don't see it. Uh, guys, as always, we want to hear your comments. Uh, leave underneath this video what you think. Uh, do you think uh, this guy can come in and, and be be a great defensive end, a great edge rusher for a team? Or is he a, a project player? you think he's going to take a little bit of uh, developing? Um, as always, we're going to be dropping a few more videos leading up to draft uh, day. We've got some great ones coming up. Uh, we've got some, some more key guys we want to discuss with you guys. But we want to say thank you for all your support. Uh, make sure you tune in check out all the other videos we have and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you uh, like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified whenever we do release a new scouting report peace